praise. We glorify our God because he is our God. There is none like him. He keeps on blessing over and over and over again. I love the Lord because he first loved me. And he demonstrated his love. For God demonstrated his love in the wild adulterers, 
or even as this publican. I fast twice a week. I give tithe of all that I possess. And the public, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you that this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. Amen. God's word from Luke chapter 18, verses 9 through 14. May God richly bless the word and sanctify the Lord. Oh, Lord, we pray that you will 
Amen. 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 That was the praise of the Lord. Amen. Because that's my me time. Yeah. It's kind of like when I was in Iraq. I'm going to say this on the wall, but I got seven miles from there. When I was in Iraq, I would tell my soldiers when I go to jail, I'm telling you, most people exercise the burden. For me, exercise is a release. So I would tell my soldiers, when I go to the gym and if you see me in the gym, do not bother me. I am not in the gym to socialize. I'm in the gym to work out, to sweat, to get some release. Amen. So don't mess with me unless you come and tell me we just had an incident and somebody's dead. Amen. I got to stop and go take care of that. <laughs> but don't come and tell me. Don't say, hey, don't come down. Hey, how you doing? How leave me alone when you speak to me. Don't say good morning. Just go about your business. <laughs> That's my time. Amen. And some exercise is my release. So I got another now. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so let me move on because the announcements are coming up. <laughs> but but now we So I'll be doing that and, and I'm trying to, you know, I've shared with pastors all around. You give me a call. The workshop I'm going to do in seven minutes. I did it in the air, and, and I developed that thing into an entire three hour workshop. Uh, of course, I'm going to be doing three hours a day. I'm going to Zion playing Michigan Rats just to do the presentation. I'm going to do an abbreviated version for one hour. Um, but but none of that will And listen to, I'm going to say this one more time before I leave this announcement right here. There is no shame in seeking. Counseling. Let me say that one more time. There is no shame. See, in, in, the, in, in the black community for a long time, that's the taboo. Get rid of the taboo. It's okay to go talk to somebody. And, and some of y'all got some deep stuff that, I mean, I, I can talk with you some, but there's some stuff I can't deal with. You need to get some trained professional counseling. Amen, somebody. I was one thing they saw this in seminary. No one to refer. No one to refer. Amen. I got Jesus to mess it up. That's why you're going to be <laughs> Greetings and good morning to everyone. This is just a note to express the urgency that each person needs to vote. Democratic candidates are facing some extreme and unethical practices during this campaign. Some have been threatened by having the authorities call on them. Some have had their posters defaced and bullet bears. Others have had practically all their posters sold out. However, we are continuing to campaign and solicit votes. If you have individuals on your sick and shut in list, Request or have near relative request an absentee ballot by 5 p.m. November 1st, 2022. Is it time restriction is the best to have the relative walk the request into the board of election? Make sure to post the following instruction on the form. Encourage family members, felons, and students who recently turned 18 to vote early. Check with your neighbor. Offer them a ride if needed. Remember, we all win when your vote counts. Please pray for us all. There's no signature on name on that that was sent to me last night. Some of you got an email because I sent it to some Jackie and Bobo sent it out. It's important that we get out and vote. And we have uh, nine days before November 8th. Amen. I'm not counting today. Nine days before November 8th, or well, technically eight days before November 8th. And November 8th will be the ninth day of the following day to vote. Now, early voting, this is important, y'all. We need to press hard this week. We need to press real hard this week to get people out to vote because early voting ends Saturday at like 1 o'clock, I think, or 3 o'clock. Somebody said 3. Somebody said 3. Okay. And so, so early voting is the time to get them out there, especially the first time voting because they can register and vote at the same time. One stop. Amen? One stop. They go out there. So, so check with every 18-year-old and older. Every 18 year old and older, every 18 year old and older needs to vote. Amen. Go get your cousin, your nephew, your niece. Go get them, take them, encourage them that their vote count. Make it happen between now and Saturday. Amen? Make it happen between now and Saturday. Get them out there. Encourage them. You young people who have voted already, you feel good about voting, you encourage your young counterparts to vote. 
Go talk to him. Knock him upside the head. Amen. <laughs> Because if you knock us out the head, you might get knocked back. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they might knock a little bit harder than you. And then somebody. Yeah, let me say this in this last day. You want to say something? Let me say this. Y'all know how it was when y'all siblings, some of y'all siblings, and, and y'all got in fight, the one you hit the other one, the other one hit you, and you say, I, but I didn't hit you that hard. <laughs> hey, y'all know that. Some of y'all had that. Y'all been fighting. He said, but, but, but you hit me harder than I hit you, so he shouldn't have hit me the first time. <laughs> Amen. Who's going to answer that? Good morning. Um, remember we're doing the Trump Truth for the Children on tomorrow from 6 to 7. Please make sure you bring your young ones out to get all the candies you have graciously brought us. Thank you. Amen. Yeah. Happy birthday to Harmon Harmon Har Harmony Walters. Oh, Harmony. That's a new spelling on Harmony right there, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Harmony. Where's Harmony? Harmony, stand up so they can see you. Amen. And, 
and I said that last week that if, even if I lose, I won because I learned something from this. It has been frustrating, but it has been fun and fulfilling. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And I've learned a lot, and I got to talk to people that normally I would not have spoken to, and people spoke to me that normally would not have spoken to me, and share their heart with me, right? For some concerns they have about the school system. Amen, somebody. And so it's been a good journey. I thank you for all of your help, all of your support, and all that you have done. So I said, do you have a team? My team is you all. <laughs> I ain't got no organizing. Yeah. I ain't got no campaign manager. <laughs> I'm it. <laughs> Along with my church support. So thank you all. Be God bless you. Uh, press hard this week. Press hard this week. And, and let's go forward. Um, with that being said, did we miss anything else? Thank you. Thank you. We need to send that out hard and heavy again. Town hall meeting at West Columbus. Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock. We need everybody to go there. Uh, Brother Carlton, I don't know if you can hear this, but the Dante, if we need to bring the band out here and take people, let's take people there. We need people at the town hall meeting, as many as can be. And, and see, at the town hall, different from that board meeting, y'all can ask some questions, expect some answers. When we go to the board meeting, we say something, they just look at us like we're crazy, they don't have to respond. <laughs> hey, man, somebody. Yeah. But at the town hall meeting, you can expect some response. Amen, somebody. So y'all go and ask a different question. Ask them why they, why, they, uh, why they demoted the principals. Ask them why they promoted some other principals that don't look like us. In the same vein, when they demoted them, they promoted to others. Yeah, yeah. And went outside our community and brought somebody else in that don't look like us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Ask them the hard questions. Ask her what research did she do to make that decision. Uh -huh. Ask her what uh, survey did she conduct to make that decision. Amen. Did she even talk to the community to make that decision? No. She went with her gut and did what she wanted to. Yeah. Uh, Lord, let me stop. I feel the blackness starting to Yeah. 
Let's pray. Most high God, we thank you, Lord, for this day, this offering. We pray, God, that we use it for your Lord. Touch every heart and mind, dear God. If we lift you above all things, forgive us of every sin, every thought, word, and deed. Cleanse our hearts and minds, dear God, that we may do the things that are pleasing in your sight. And we give the glory, honor, and praise to this day in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We thank you, praise God. I do solicit your prayers for tomorrow. Be in prayer with me tomorrow be at 2 p.m. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. I will be doing the eulogy for the young man that was shot and killed in Chapel yeah, yeah. Uh, a few weeks ago. It's going to be tough. take these things quite personal. Yeah. Because these young people go out in birth they're mine. Mm -hmm. be, regardless of their behavior. Yeah. And I'm not going to say I know what that family feels, but I feel some of their pain. Uh -huh. Anytime a young child, okay, when I say he's about 17 or 18, he's still a young child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's run down in such a manner. It's painful to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So be in prayer with me that perhaps the Lord would use me to say something that will touch some young person and turn somebody's life around. Amen. Yeah. And I will have the strength to do what I need to do. Last one I did for a young person, I had to catch myself. I stood in support of my fall apart myself. <laughs> I to step back for a minute and regroup uh, because these things are difficult. Mm -hmm. Been dealing with the school system 23 years. No, let me step in my room. Go all the way back to when I first started substituting and counseling and bed there. Mm -hmm. You ought to hear me give the story and tell it, and this is true. Ten years on active duty. Ten years on acting in the United States Army, we play with weapons all the time. Jump out of airplanes, some of us. And in ten years, I buried one soldier I was passing when I was at the inadvertently shot by a German in Germany. He was drunk, intoxicated. We think he thought he was going to throw a house in front of the German house. Peter Clement, I remember his name, he used to wear black blood and some spikes on it. And I believe when the German said, oh, he put his hand on the German, oh, he had some of his hand shot one time in the chest. Peter Clement just walked out of office. But one soldier I've in 10 years. And I started teaching in Fayetteville. In the first three years of teaching in Fayetteville, I attended three funerals of young kids under the age of 16, shot and killed in the streets of Fayetteville. Something's wrong with that picture. Though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My phone flashes and flashes. Gunshot at the football game. Mm -hmm. Six bad hit. Ten shot here. Daily. It's praying time. Yeah. And it's teaching time. Mm -hmm. and more so than that, it's loving time. We yeah. love these kids. We love these kids. Amen. And so, so certainly give God praise. And with that, let, let me say that today uh, uh, we have the honor and privilege of, of doing what I said. We were going to do every fifth Sunday. There may be some more added, we're going to 2023. Because one of the things I offered when I was an associate with which I said to God, if you allow me to pass the church, I will teach and train the ministers. And we got a little slack over the last couple of years or so. Uh, and so we want to do that. So today, we have our very own Reverend Sister Minister Sandra Powell to come forth and bring us a word to the Lord. Amen. I want to thank you all because you know you came. Amen. Y'all came today. I like that. Y'all got we got a good house full of people in there today. Amen. Y'all want to take a vacation because I know I was preaching. I like that. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> these preachers need your support too. Y'all. Hallelujah. So God be 
you all the glory. Uh, uh, Brother Monica Blue is going to give us a selection. And the next voice that you will hear after that will be that of the Reverend Sandra Powell, uh, all the way out of Fairfield, North Carolina, by way of Nobody uh, <laughs> Four, which will be a little girl that I know Civil Civil Road running around. Amen. Hang out in the woods and climb the trees. Praise the Lord. Y'all be blessed. Pray for me. I'll see y'all next time. Y'all won't mind if we have some uh, some real, real back of the day church. You don't mind? Y'all don't mind if we do something a little different this morning. That's okay with you. What I need you to do is just clap your hands. There you go. I want you to help me. Oh, Lord. I want you to help me. 
Go with me to Philippians chapter 2, beginning at verse 9. Uh -huh. Yeah, Lord. <clears throat> Philippians chapter 2, beginning at verse 9. You have to say amen. 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 Yeah, Lord. It reads, Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Every name. That at the name of Jesus, uh -huh. every knee every should bow uh -huh. of those in heaven and those on earth yeah. and of those under the earth. And that every tongue should confess That's right. that Jesus Christ yeah. is Lord uh -huh. to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, God. Thank you. We thank you for another day, God, oh, yeah. that you have allowed us to Bless come you. home. Uh -huh. And now, God, I ask you, Lord, oh, to stand me up before your people, Father God. Anoint me even more, Father God. In the name of the Father, I call upon you, El Shaddai, yeah. God Almighty, yeah. to have your way, Father yeah. God. Bless this service. Bless, bless. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. we pray. Amen. 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 Yeah, Lord. Our subject is going to be coming from verse 9. What's in a name? What's in a name? I ask that question again. What's in a name? Each one of us have many different names. Yeah. And time. We go by mother, father, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, sister, brother, daughter, granddaughter, speaker, musician, and so on. Yeah. But these names are given to us by the world. The world. And sometimes we find ourselves thinking that we all bad. We all go through our names. I know that sometimes there are people who can get better jobs because of who their name is. That's right. I know that sometimes there are people who feel like they are in charge and want to take over because of who their name is. But we got to remember, these names were given to us by me. That's right. But there is a name that's power. Oh, yes, it is. That's a power. She's going to have feelings that she shouldn't have. That's right. 
kidneys are redeemed. All right, huh? All right. And the Redeemer is Christ. Yeah. yeah. Who took upon us our sin yeah. on a cross. Yeah. And he died for us. Yeah. He delivered us from the curse of the law. Yeah. But just as good as God is, he gave us a name. Uh -huh. yeah. He gave us many names. Uh -huh. But today I'm only going to talk about three of the names. The name that he gave us, the first one, go to John 1 12, which reads, But as many as received him to be, he gave the right to become children of God. That's right. To those who believe in his name. We are his children. That's right. What an honor. What a privilege. To know that you are a child of the Most High God. Yeah. And being his children, we are able mm -hmm. to call upon him mm -hmm. when we need help. That's right. Yeah. You know, just like parents, mother and father, mm -hmm. they watch over their children. A good parent yeah. watches over yeah. her children, That's right. even from birth. That's she right. wants to make sure that her child gets the proper care, mm -hmm. the proper nourishment that they need to survive in this world. Mm -hmm. She disciplines her children mm -hmm. when they don't do right, when That's they're right. doing wrong. Mm -hmm. They get a spanking. Yeah. They used to get a spanking. <laughs> A mother, a parent, proud to see their children accomplish things in life. Proud to see their children living a good life. Yeah. A good parent. A good parent will stand by their children. A good parent, no matter what a child does, they never stop loving their child. That's right. A good parent. Jesus. It's a good part. Yes, it is. Some of us don't even deserve the love of God. Oh but he continues to pour it out on us. Yes, it is. When all he has that we love one another. Yes. And do be kind to one another. Yes. And sometimes we find that hard to do. Yes. Because we are flesh. That's right. That's right. It can become hard. Yes. I know working with children. Go, oh, go. Oh. I was working with children at school. <laughs> Little children sometimes can almost get the best of you. <laughs> Until you can look at them and you say, well, you still got to be good to them. Yeah. You still got to be kind to them. You right. still have to show them love. Right. But sometimes it becomes hard to yeah. do it. Yeah. When you get one that bites you,
food uh -huh. with somebody who's in need. Uh -huh. What about somebody with no money? Mm. Can you be that ATM? Uh -huh. <laughs> Some people may need clothes. Yeah. Can you bless them with something to wear? Uh -huh. Can you show some kindness, support to people? Can you do that for everybody? Uh -huh. Can you give your love? That a God they love. You know what the pastor last talked about in Bible study about love. You know how we say it. Uh -huh. I love you. Yeah. And, and, and you know, <laughs> we all do that. Uh -huh. But we need to examine that. Do we really? Do we truly love? Yeah. Because Christ is coming back. Yes, he is. Yeah. And I don't want that to hold me back. That's right. That's right. My love is real. I tell all of you today. My love for you is real. Amen. I think about you all the time. You in my prayers and anything I can do for somebody. Please let me know. Uh -huh. There's something in the name. Amen. And as I look back, I'm so happy yeah. that I got a chance to get a close relationship with God. Yeah. I'm so happy that I got a chance to experience uh -huh. some of these names. Oh, yeah. You know, a lady asked me, an elderly lady, she says, honey, guess what did she say? Why do you want to learn all the different names for God? I said, all I want to know is the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought that was so fresh and so cute. And now, that's all we got to do yeah. is call on the name of Jesus. Yeah. But if I'm sick, every now and then, I like to say, Lord, I don't feel good today. I need you to come on and touch me. I know you. Yes, Jehovah Rock. Uh -huh. You are right. a healer. Yeah. Yeah. When things are fair, when I don't have the faith I need, uh -huh. I said, come on, child.
Yeah. Oh, oh. 